Ja, 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 Well, let's talk about what Pope Francis' first few hours on the job have been like. And the Vatican actually has a term for the first few days of any new pope. They're called the Days of Surprise. And surprising they have been indeed. First of all, uh, after he got elected in the conclave last night, uh, uh, Jorge Bergoglio uh, met with his fellow cardinals. They all had dinner together. The cardinals toasted the new pope. And Pope Francis toasted them right back, saying, May God forgive you for what you have done. That brought the house down among all the cardinals. That was pretty funny. And then, of course, uh, the cardinals were being moved back and forth from dinner to where they're staying on buses. Several buses were taking them around. Now, as Pope, Francis has the Pope Mobile. He's got special limousines that popes are supposed to use. But not Francis. He got on the bus with the boys, just like everybody else. And this morning, when Pope Francis got up for his first full day on the job, he did what every traveler does when they're wrapping up a trip here in Rome. He picked up his luggage, he took them down to the front desk, he paid the bill with his own credit card. The Vatican spokesman saying that the new Pope wants to set an example for other bishops and priests. So very much establishing the idea right off the top that he is a humble man, a man of the people, a, a working class Pope, if you will. And we think about his days as Cardinal back in Buenos Aires when he could have lived in luxury at the Archbishop's Palace but he did not. He decided to stay in a very small, modest apartment. He cooked his own meals. He took the subway to work. So that is the flavor so far of Pope Francis's first few hours, the days of surprise uh, here at the Vatican. Now, just to fill you in on a little bit of housekeeping, uh, you're going to see a busy few days, of course, for the Pope ahead. He's going to meet all the cardinals tomorrow morning, Friday, about 11 o'clock. Then he's going to meet the world's press on Saturday. And in fact, it was Francis's idea. He said the first thing he did, wanted to do, he wanted to talk to journalists about the church. And he'll answer questions in French, in English, in Spanish, Italian, and even German, if you ask a question in German. He speaks five languages. So that's Saturday. Then his official installation as Pope will come on March the 19th. And we've been told that Canada will be represented at that installation by Governor General David Johnston. The timing just didn't work out for Prime Minister Harper to attend, so Governor De General David Johnston will be attending that. For the U.S., Obama will not be attending either. It'll be Vice President Joe Biden. So there you go, the first few hours, a day's surprise for Pope Francis. Thank <laughs> you. 